Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to continue our time battle series. So we're going to put the Enterprise A and the Enterprise B against the Enterprise C, the Ambassador class. Now in terms of predictions, I think the difference between the Enterprise C and Enterprise A is going to be enormous. I almost wonder if just a few blasts from the Enterprise C phasers will take out the Enterprise A. Possibly. The Enterprise B should put up more of a fight, but how much more of a fight? I'm not sure. Now of course the Enterprise B will be tougher than the Enterprise A. Can it pose a threat to the Enterprise C? Hmm, let's find out. Okay, here we go. Now somebody in the comments section asked if I was going to put the Enterprise Refit and Enterprise A against the Enterprise B because of course that is the correct order. Now the Enterprise A was more advanced than the Enterprise Refit, however that's not reflected in Bridge Commander. So I do have both of the models and visually speaking there are differences but in terms of weaponry, shields and all that they're exactly the same so that's why I've not done that. Okay so we've weakened the Enterprise C's forward shield. Look at that. That's interesting. Of course with all of these battles I am limited by how the mods are balanced. I'm going to do this battle from the other way around as well. Okay, our aft shield is collapsing. Wow, that turned around quick, didn't it? So it's obvious the Ambassador's weaponry is more punchier than ours. Right, I need to get some distance here. That's what I need to do. Wow. Look at the Enterprise B go. Oh gosh! Yeah, you see this is the problem, once your aft shield is gone, uh, maintaining distance is quite tricky because obviously you're vulnerable. They can shoot us from behind and do major hull damage. Oh gosh! I'm not used to not having an aft shield. That got me. Okay, we've almost, almost, almost got victory here. I really don't want to jinx it though. Oh my gosh, this is close. This is close. Come on, come on. Yes! Oh, is this explosion going to deck us? Ooh, no, we're okay. And of course, the Kirkmobile has zero damage, which is great because that needs to go straight to the Fleet Museum. Now, I'm not going to do a full spread of torpedoes because I know for a fact that they have a high rate of missing with the Ambassador, so I don't even want to go there. I have to make every torpedo count. I'm going to go after the Enterprise A first. Oh my gosh, our shield. Right, so the Enterprise A, far from being a pushover, is becoming a bit of an annoyance at this point. The forward shield is draining. Doing a bit tricky. That's more like it. Okay, this is not going down how I expected at all. If we're struggling with the Enterprise A, I mean, how are we going to do against the Enterprise B? Leave us alone, and I'll leave you alone. Come on, torpedoes, I need you. Where are you? There you are. Right, because the A. Ooh, gosh, don't collide. Oh, it's close. Right, now on to the B. It very much looks like a warship, the B where the ambassador to me doesn't come across that way. And 
Neither did the Galaxy class. But they were built at different times. With different things in mind. The Enterprise D very much exploration focused. With a battle bridge, of course. Where when you look at, say, the Enterprise E, oh my gosh. Yes, that thing is definitely a warship. Okay, we're getting through to their hull, but they're through to ours. Gotta be careful here. Alrighty, there we go. Oh, they're not coming back from that, surely. Famous last words. Ooh. Our forward shield is draining. Oh, gosh, there we go. Simulated enemy ship. I think that was fairly accurate. If we look at the shields right now and the hull, we've got about 75% hull left and we took out the Enterprise B and the Enterprise A. What do you guys think of those results? Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.